हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ टू द पॉइंट टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज हीट वेव्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी वाई इज इट इन द न्यूज द इंडियन मीटियोरोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट हैज प्रिडिक्टेड अ पॉसिबल हीट वेव इन मल्टीपल स्टेट्स अक्रॉस इंडिया फोरकास्टिंग एन अब नॉर्मल राइज इन टेम्परेचर फ्रॉम अप्रैल थ्री Now let's discuss what are heat waves. Heat waves are prolonged periods of excessively hot weather that can cause adverse impacts on human health, the environment and the economy. India being a tropical country is particularly vulnerable to heat waves which have become more frequent and intense in recent years. One of the primary causes of heat waves in India is global warming which refers to the long term increase in earth's average temperature due to human activities such as burning fossil fuels deforestation and industrial activities rapid urbanization and the growth of concrete jungles in cities can lead to the phenomenon known as the urban heat island effect Now let's have a look at criteria for declaring heat wave in India. Plains and hilly regions. Heat wave is considered if the maximum temperature of a station reaches at least 40 degrees Celsius or more for plains and at least 30 degrees Celsius or more for hilly regions. If the normal maximum temperature of a station is less than or equal to 40 degrees Celsius then an increase of 5 degree celsius to 6 degree celsius from the normal temperature is considered to be the heat wave condition further an increase of 7 degree celsius or more from the normal temperature is considered as severe heat wave condition if the normal maximum temperature of a station is more than 40 degree celsius then an increase of 4 degree celsius to 5 degree celsius from the normal temperature is considered to be heat wave condition further an increase of 6 degree celsius or more is considered as severe heat wave condition additionally if the actual maximum temperature remains 45 degree celsius or more irrespective of normal maximum temperature a heat wave is declared coastal areas when maximum temperature departure is 4.50 degree celsius or more from normal a heat wave may be described provided the actual maximum temperature is 37 degree celsius or more now moving on to impacts impact on health rapid rises in heat gain can compromise the body's ability to regulate temperature and can result in a cascade of illnesses including heat cramps heat exhaustion heat stroke and hyperthermia deaths and hospitalizations from heat can occur extremely rapidly or have a lag effect impact on water resources heat waves can exacerbate water scarcity issues in india drying up of water bodies reduced water availability for agriculture and domestic use and increased competition for water resources This can lead to conflicts over water, affect irrigation practices and impact water dependent industries. And impact on energy, heat waves can increase electricity demand for cooling purposes leading to strain on power grids and potential blackouts. This can disrupt economic activities, affect productivity and impact vulnerable populations who may not have access to reliable electricity for cooling during heat waves. Now is the time for practice question. What are the possible limitations of India in mitigating global warming at present and in the immediate future? One, appropriate alternate technologies are not sufficiently available. Two, India cannot invest huge funds in research and development. Three, many developed countries have already set up their polluting industries in India. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One and two only, two only, one and three only, or one, two and three? Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. For more informative content, like, share, and subscribe.
and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.